Hey guys, welcome back. My name's Stu, and this is Rocky Falls for Roller Coaster Tycoon Classic, part 52 of the VJ Scenario Pack, and we're into part four then of this playthrough. We need 10 different types of roller coasters. We have an excitement of over six. So I'm using this as like a tutorial series. So in part one, we did Elysium, which is a hyper coaster or hyper twister that's not very tall. So you don't need to be big to get good stats. Number two, we did Alcazar, a vertical drop coaster. We've used a coaster as a transport ride. There you go, it's taking you all the way up to the top. In part three, we built Codex, which is a giga coaster, a very small, very small ride there. And um, even though if you look at the ride land from the right time, it's split between the two different stations and two different sections, the actual ride stats, the excitement of things like that is combined. So you get a good boost there. So number four then, I've also done a little bit, just a tiny bit of scenery, not, not much, just see those little, little bridges over those little ends. Nothing, nothing too extravagant. Um, so I want to do a course to here, number four then um and what seems quite fitting considering the recent videos is a flying coaster so i did in case you haven't seen them i did flying dutchman and flying frog in tutorial sections if you want to see how i built those so i did say when i was doing a flying dutchman video that i probably wouldn't build it as it is i'd build it off a cliff and what about how about there because when we first started the video or the series there was um like a like a lookout point i, I did think about adding one of those back in how am i going to do this with the so two three four five so we'll go off there in we can't do it this is in the way so we'll need to drop this down and drop this one down as well. Probably that one as well. Can we do it now? No, we need to drop it down again. Let's just do it like that and then we can make it nicer afterwards. It's still too high. Or do we need to come out one more? Yeah, we need it to come out one more. So let's we'll leave it like that. Um half loop in. Now this does mean we won't be able to do the on right for a section because you can't build them underground. We could tunnel down, but I'm not gonna bother with that. Um but what it also means is that we are going to have to dig down. So let's have a look. And uh, we are going to have to dig down behind here. Now I'm going to build two. So we'll do it two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I believe it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So even though we dug down, it's only 1,000, 1,300. It's not a huge amount. Um, so uh, we can't do... What we could do, we could add a little bit like that. So it's got an extra drop there, even though it's tiny, we could do it like that. And then we could add up section. No, it's slightly too long. Do you know what? We'll keep it. We'll keep it simple. Okay, that's giving us a, a space at the back. Oh, it's because we've got the extra bit on the front. There you go, then. We can add the, the photo section on the back. Okay, so for the entrance, we'll do it like that. I have to use some supports. I 
There you go. Let's check out the stats. Five point seven six. We need six. Don't worry. That's fine. All part of the plan. So for this one, the plan is that even though this isn't going to count, the second one isn't going to count towards the ten because they have to be ten unique rides. The stats will count. So when we start this up and we synchronize, six point two nine. There you go. And we're going to call this one. Citadel name suggested by Eric Carker. And this is coaster number four, and we'll also name this one the same thing. If you have any suggestions for coaster names, um, add them in the comment section. Um, we have got a few spares ready that i'm gonna uh, pick from um i may alter some of them because so far all these coaster names have been um single words so i may alter some of them slightly to follow suit so make sure we've got the same Round the price up. Okay, cool. So, how are we going to do this then? Right, so I want to do um, an underground section for the exit. So I'm using this now to do like a ramp. This bit's going to be a pain. What's happened there? Let's hide the rides. So if we raise this up so it's flush with the station cool cool right so here's how we're going to do it we'll come out there to there and then we'll go down And then in, and then we'll come out this way. Is that too much? And then this side, we'll do the same. Hide rides, hide land surface. Right, we'll join that up. I think, but what I think what I'll do is I'll use 
one-way signs so no entry signs to make a one-way system there you go right so which one's gonna be the one going we'll do right this one this one will be the one on the, the right closest to us will be the one going to the actual exit right so if we do we'll put no entry signs all along here so they can't go through there and then we'll put a no entry sign there and then we'll put one there facing the other way Raise that up there. Okay, right, so let's get the Q path. See if I can get it mirrored on the other side. And that's going to connect up to the bridge there. rebuild it so it joins and then we're going to build the exit path to there um, now for this one I'm going to use because you'll be able to see these I'll use the nicer signs there and also there no there and there that way guests coming off this side go straight to the main back to the main path guests coming off this side go down onto the little viewing platform and then back up cool so we can open these up now for now we'll just do it like this if later we find that we're having problems with the mechanic reaching both stations what we can do is we can either get a separate one or we could do another little path connecting up here and then just do no entry sign so the guests can't use it but the the, the staff can i will do a separate and demand note for these and probably for this bit as well i shouldn't need to bother with the one the underground sections um okay let's get some some supports make it look nicer Get rid of those bushes. Mm 
Actually, we'll get rid of that. That's cool. And then what we'll do is we'll have... Cool. We'll make that grey. Where's it going underground? And then let's see if we can... No. Nope. So that gets rid of the ones below, the, the, the automatic supports. Mm, but I don't like the color of it though. It is. Um, and then for the supports, we'll do Maybe one each side, which looks like it's holding up the whole platform. And then maybe have some seats down here. And we are going to have to have some form of fence or something. Oh, that looks weird. What's that? Oh, the old isometric. view strike strikes again place and rotate yep all over the place right let's try okay let's try we know we'll put there so i can see the line below and then we'll go up 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 there you go. So now I know that's in the right place. Rotate it. Yeah, fine. And I can... Cool. And now uh, we'll do. Oh, hang on. What's going on here? Obviously, something's not right. Okay, let's put more one way one way signs there. So they're going they're managing to find find their way down there. So we'll put one there. 
go to one there go to one there 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 you go that's better that's better some seating areas as well cool i think we're gonna need do we have one yes we do i think we're gonna need a first aid room just there um And what are we going to do? There you go. I'm sure no one's going to try and throw themselves off a cliff. And then maybe just for a little bit of variation we'll change the shade slightly because whilst that color red is fine for the coaster it does look a little bit too garish for the for the fences rotated it and it's shot away cool not not too fast with these gates here though just swap them out we've got the wood There you go. I think that looks, I think that looks better. Um, no balloons. We can do some hats and some t-shirts and then down here sunglasses there you go i'm trying not to put them directly opposite each other so for example i'm trying not to 
put the stall opposite another stall and also not put a queue line entrance opposite a stall or something like that because it can confuse the guests it, um, it confuses their ai there we go oh look at that that's looking good That is looking good. What about though, if we, ah, there it is. Try and match the color, try and get the angle right. And what about if we, one there, one there. One there and one there, and then delete the one that shouldn't be there. No, no, that no, they're in the wrong place. That's fine. I won't delete them just yet. What I'll do is I'll use them to match the right height. So there and there, delete the ones in the wrong place. Oh, there you go. That looks better. Cool. I like that. And what is the stats? 6.79. 6.79. So it's getting a boost from the synchronization. It's also getting a boost from a little bit of half in beneath it. And also the... Um, scenery that we've done as well so that was pretty cool i'm really happy with the way that's turned out thanks again to eric for suggesting the name drop any name course the name suggestions in the comments section and um, i do have some that i'm going to use in upcoming videos my throat's a little bit croaky because uh, i've been ill but it's feeling a lot better now um yeah so uh if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe and um, i'll see you on the next one Bye.